Hey, it's Amy, and let's talk foundations. What type of foundation should you use? And more importantly, in the winter, should you switch to a different one? Okay, if you have dry skin, then you may need to switch if you're using a powder foundation. And I gotta admit, powder is my go-to. I love to wear powder, but I've noticed this winter that I'm starting to get little patchy spots because my skin gets drier in the winter time. And so I've had to switch to a different foundation. So I'm gonna demo them and just show you we've got how to apply them and what you can wear. We've got the powder, the liquid that goes to powder, you have a cream foundation, and we have our BB Flawless, which is a tinted moisturizer. So if you have really dry skin and you just want a light coverage, you might wanna go with the BB Flawless. Now, I already have primer on because you have to wear primer. You just have to. Primer is essential. So you, want to, you can take a blending bud, and that's how I like to apply the BB Flawless. It's damp, you squeeze it out, and just gonna go ahead and dab it on, and we just fill in over here. Now since I'm going to apply all of them on at the same time, <laughs> we're just going to do a small section over here. This is what I wore when I first started because I didn't, I wasn't used to wearing foundation and so I really liked the light, natural look that this gave me. Now it's going to give you a bit of a dewy finish, but this is really great if you're um, wanting just a light tinted moisturizer, basically. It's going to help add a little bit more moisture to your face. And I have a few ladies that really like that. All right, so that is your tinted moisturizer, the BB Flawless. Now, if you like a little bit, well, the rest of the foundations are really great coverage. Powder is my go-to, so easy. I just, I just love that I can put this on anywhere. And we'll go ahead and apply that up here. This is great, it covers my redness, and I just, I love that I can't feel, well, all of them, I can't feel that I'm wearing them. They feel very, they sit very naturally on my face. And um, I really, really like that. So that is the powder. And because my skin's gotten drier over the winter, I have been using more of the liquid foundation. This is one that just about all skin types can use. And unless you prefer something else, it's liquid dries to powder, but it's great for that in-between skin, for you know just about anybody. So I recommend that for just about anybody. So I really like using the brush. You don't have to, but you're just gonna get such good coverage when you use the brush. It's just really, really good. So dab it on. We'll get my nose here. Of course, I broke out today. And this is just amazing coverage. Now, if you need help with color matching, I can do that for you. And you just blend it gently. Blend it, blend it, blend blend. And that's gonna get you the good coverage, good coverage. Really like it, and the brush feels amazing too. Now, I am using a little bit different colors. Um, with the liquid foundation, I use Scarlet, which is the lightest. And I use Velour with the powder, which is a neutral. Um, I'm sorry, Scarlet's the neutral. <laughs> it's yellow undertones. It's the lightest in that, but the powder kind of goes on like it's a neutral. Okay, next one. This is my least favorite. It's just not my preference. Um, I've never really been into cream foundation. But if you really want heavy coverage, great coverage, and you have super dry skin, give this a try. Now let's see, where have we not, we'll do my chin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dab in there and apply it on. Now there's gonna be a little clashing because like I said, the colors are a little bit different. And so that is the cream, you know what again? Yes, it's just not my preference. It doesn't feel bad at all. It feels nice. I'm just not a cream foundation kind of girl. All right, and to kind of blend that all in, since I have four foundations on my face, let's add a little powder over that. So you can apply a light to set your foundation if you needed to or wanted to. I don't always do that. Just, you know, get in there and blend that all in. Usually I'm less is more, but if you like to set it, then Take your powder and 
get in there and blend it gently blend and there you go that's the different types that you have available so let me know if you have any questions if you need um, color matching great choices and no need to have super dry skin and wear the right wrong type of foundation and then have it look like you have scales on your face you don't want to do that so those are my top tips for foundation uh, if you ha want a light coverage and you like the moisture, get the BB Flawless. If you have oily skin, the powder is going to be great for you. I don't have oily skin, but I just love a powder. So, I mean, obviously, personal preference is going to come in. Um, normal, dry, oily. This is great for anybody, the liquid foundation. And if you have really dry skin and you want heavy coverage, take the cream. All right. Let me know if you have questions. Talk to you later.